Hello and welcome back to What's Inside. Today we're looking at the Jihad Starter Deck from Deckmaster. Later on this game got renamed to Vampire the Embraced, I believe. But this is the original. This is a sealed deck, a Richard Garfield game. If you don't know who he is, you probably shouldn't be playing collectible card games. Go look it up. Now this is from White Wolf, Wizards of the Coast, and Garfield Games, as you can see from this reflective strip here, which probably prevents you from seeing anything. This contains a rule book and 76 collectible game cards. Uh, retailed originally for $8.95 according to the back of the box. Um, these are kind of hard to find, still sealed, and they'll probably cost you a little bit, probably around $10. Um, 1994 from White Wolf and Wizards of the Coast. It's based off the role-playing game Vampire the Masquerade, which was real popular when this came out. So let's let's break the seal here and see what's inside this hard-to-find little gem from the mid-90s. Woo! I just made everybody else's set more valuable. Ooh, everything is nice and sealed in cellophane. And it does have uh, the rule book tucked inside, which I do like. Uh, they did have a book that you could buy for this that was uh, like a strategy guide of some kind, as I recall. There's the back of the cards. Let's watch me try and fight with the cellophane. That seems to be the fun part of these videos for everybody but me. Yeah, this is the eternal struggle, not the card game. Yeah, I think I nicked a card. Yep. Alright, so plastic's off. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that smells funny. Yep, smells like new cards. From the 90s. So it smells like 20 year old cards. This is tucked in the stack here. Um, right in the fragment of the book of Nod, just in case you're curious. Uh, so there's our game book by Richard Garfield and he had to put PhD on. Uh, I don't know what his PhD is and I don't care. I care about having fun at a game. A little egotistical maybe. There's a master list of the symbols that are on the cards on the back here which is really handy. Um, this is again from the early 90's so it's not exactly a, a, a overly complicated game. It should be fairly simplistic and straightforward but some of these were pretty convoluted I played this one for quite a while. I liked it a lot. Alright, so we got our rule book. It's not in color, which is kind of disappointing. And some of the print on the symbols is kind of small. And it, there are a lot of pages. Oh, there's the deck layout. It looks like it's uh, about 40 pages, a little over that. Yeah, plus an index, which is handy. I do like that. So that maybe compensates for it not having... Um, uh, color. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got an Aching Beauty. Uh, then we have an Uptown Hunting Ground. Night Moves. Mask of a Thousand Faces. Fast Hands. Ooh, a Bastard Sword. Does two damage each strike. Uh, Nosferatu Putrescence. Malkavian Dementia. All these have the information printed down here like usual. It is a little hard to read on some of these because it has that like marbleized background. Uh, so you might have to like have decent lighting. The Fifth Tradition Hospitality, Metro Underground, Assault Rifle, Grave Robbing, Delaying Tactics, Fragment of the Book of Nod, Pulled Fangs. That just looks horrible. There's a character card, Dee Dee Myers, uh, Muriel, Lady Thunder, Remiel Dupree, that's pretentious, Reversal of Fortunes, Gideon Fontaine, Helena Kesmir, she has a special ability there, it's pretty high powered, she's a nine there, uh, Uriah Winter, that's pretentious. 
kind of pretentious names on some of these. Callista, the master sculptor. Rafina Soledad. Felicia Mostrum. Lazarus. I think that's a Ventru. John Casey. Sammy. Selma the Repugnant. I think those are Nosferatu. Uh, Praxis Solomon. Dieter Kleist. Kleist? I don't know. Lost in Crowds. Nimble Feet. Form of the Ghost. Wolf Claws. A Hog. H A W G. Because it's cool. Uh, Growing Fury. Shattering Blow. Flash. Uh, Cryptic Mission. Blur. Celerity, Blood Rage, Bum Rush, Indomitability, 44 Magnum, Thamatuji, Skin of Rock, Aid from Bats, Conservative Agitation, Throne Gates, because that's a day ruiner when somebody impales you with a gate. Um, it, Animalism, Hidden Lurker, Cloak the Gathering, Open Grate, Theft of Vitae, Arson, Kin Resources Contested, Deer Rifle, Movement of the Mind, Elder Library, Skin of Steel, Boxed In, Restoration, Fortitude, Social Charm, Dead End Alley, The Barons, uh, Unique Location, Saturday Night Special, that's pretty cool. Uh, Regaining the Upper Hand, Haven Uncovered, Cat's Guidance, Telepathic Misdirection, I can't talk, oh my gosh. Army of Rats, Protean, Enhanced Senses. So there's our 75 card deck. As I recall, this one required, at, I think, 60 cards to play. Maybe you could go a little higher. But you get quite a bit here for the starter deck. And it's got everything you need to play. It's got your rule book, your box, your cards, obviously. So, yeah, it's this was a fun game. I enjoyed this one. I don't know how well it would hold up by today's standards, but I remember liking it quite a bit. And uh, you got a lot of cards in the booster packs, too. They were 19 cards per booster pack, so you really got your money's worth, as opposed to, like, some of the other games where you'd get maybe 10 or 12. Um, so 19 cards in the boost pack, and uh, after they changed the name, they really you really can't find these anymore. So finding these or the boosters might be kind of difficult. You could probably find the loose cards, uh, but you'll have problems finding them with the Jihad backing. They'll probably have the Vampire of the Masquer or Vampire of the Embraced logo on them. But if you can find them, there it's a cool little game. You get everything you need for one player in here. And, um, yeah, that's what's in this box. Um, I believe these are fairly standardized. Uh, yeah, the complete set, according to the box, had over 400 cards and had uh, full color illustrations by the genre's most prominent authors, or uh, artists, rather. I really can't talk today. Uh, some of them are pretty good. Um, Dan Frazier seems to have done a lot of these, Amy Weber. I didn't see any Tim Bradstreet's. Uh, Tim Bradstreet did a lot of art for the game books and the covers, and um, he also did art for a comic book called Constantine, or Hellblazer, which is about John Constantine. Um, so I, I doubt he did any of those, but there are some pretty good artists in here. Some not so good, but what do you want? Uh, this is definitely a more mature player game because it is kind of dark and gothy um, and deals with vampires and blood and all that. Uh, each player does need a deck to play, so you'll need two of these. So that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's Jihad. Come back next time. We'll, we'll probably open some Jihad boosters in another video. I've got a couple of them laying around somewhere. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with in those. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.